Hello everyone, welcome on into another video. It's still winter, <laughs> spring hasn't really arrived for us up in the northeast yet, and probably won't until about the end of April, but temperatures are warming and I can at least feel that spring is on the horizon. This week's video is just a little bit of an artsy work vlog, honestly. I'm sharing some new art that I've been working on, some print proofs that I got in, and doing a little bit more prep for my art show table, and I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching today. Please subscribe if you haven't, and for now, enjoy this little squirrel bud going absolutely ham and just stuffing its face with some treats. Last week, I did my first two leaf paintings. This was a project I've had in the works since last fall when I collected leaves from the forest floor on different hikes and things. And then I pressed them for about five months, uh, mainly just to make sure all the moisture out of them is like really, really gone and want them to be as dry as possible. So there'll be no deterioration of the leaves. And then I coated them with clear gesso, which actually stressed me out a little bit because it didn't seem to take very well to it at all, the leaf surface, I mean. And so the gesso in certain parts on certain leaves seemed kind of crackly and didn't really want to sit well on the leaves whatsoever. So I'm not sure if there's a better option to coat them with a surface or whether I even really need to coat them with anything. I'm not sure. Also, on um, the second leaf painting you'll see in a minute, I feel like even with the gesso, there are parts where the gouache just didn't want to go down smoothly. It kept beating up like I was trying to do it on an oiled surface or something, and that was odd. That really surprised me, especially with the gesso over it, that the texture would just be kind of water repellent. So it was a little bit of a struggle <laughs> for some of the leaf paintings. But overall, I think they're really nice and they're very unique. I actually kind of like, you know, painting around or um, with the flaws and imperfections of the leaf. Like there's a couple holes in a few of them and it's just a really satisfying process. I like the unique surface, especially as someone who incorporates a lot of nature and things into my work. It just really fits. So I'm super excited to make more of these. I have about six more pressed leaves ready that I'm going to paint on. These will be sold only in frames, like with the frame, because they are far, far too delicate to try and send home with anyone or send out in the mail if they're not framed up and wrapped safely. I'm not sure at this point if I'll list any in the shop or if I'm just going to save them for shows or to be sold privately. The cat skull one actually has already been claimed, but I'm really happy with this process and I'm really happy with the fact that this is something that's going to be viable because I honestly wasn't sure how well it would work. So more leaf paintings to come in the future.
I just got some print proofs in the mail for new prints that I'll be making. This is a piece I did at the end of last year. I added a darker background in digitally for the print because I think it works really nicely on the deeper background. Same with this one. It was a piece I did last year and added in a darker background for the digital version for a print. This is a digital painting that I did um, that I haven't shared yet, but I am going to get prints of, obviously. <laughs> and I'll be doing a traditional painting of this one as well. I did a five by seven of this just to have a little more variety in print options. And then this is the same. This is a digital painting that I will be having prints and stickers of. Oh, I have stickers of this one coming in too. But this one has prints and stickers. And then I'm also just about done the traditional version of this painting. So I will show you that real quick. And here is the traditional version of it. You can actually see the palette over here to the left for it. Uh, all I have left to do on this at this point is the halo glow here. This is only the base layer of it. I need to like finish it properly. And then the traditional piece will be all done as well. I am really happy with how this came out. I was super nervous to do this with gouache. But uh, yeah, it turned out pretty well. So I'm gonna tuck it back away now. I store it here <laughs> in a drawer because it's about the only place I can guarantee that cat hairs aren't going to get on it. So yeah, it, it rests in a drawer until it's time to be worked on again. So in doing a bit more show prep, I have gone through all of my old stored original artwork from, I think these go back to like 2019 and maybe 2018, um, and just kind of sorted through things that I would like to package up to have for sale. Um, and there's just so much, like there's so much that I've forgotten about. It is wild. This is why you should always save your art. Always, always. Even if you hate it when you look at it again. It's great to see how far you've come, but I think a lot of these little minis will be great because they'll be at such a lower price point. And I think it's really nice to have kind of options, especially for originals at, you know, different price points for people. So a lot of these mini ones are really old, but um, I'm going to pack them up. And then I have ones from different previous Inktober projects. This was my first ever Inktober project called Conjure, and it's all very witchy and uh, magical. It's actually the elemental spellbook illustrations were from here that I then made into stickers, all kinds. Um, a few of these originals have sold already. Many from the series have, but I have quite a few left as you can see. So I'm going to pack those up too. This was another Inktober project called Pick Your Poison. I illustrated 31 different poisons of a variety and um, I selected ones I thought would do well um, a lot of like animal and floral ones mainly, plant ones, just because that's what a lot of my art kind of centers around now. So I feel like they, they'll fit pretty well with that theme. This was a series I literally totally forgot I did. It was a pen and ink series with some gold metallic um, of endangered species. And I got through like four of them, it seems. And like I totally forgot I even ever did these. So those will get packed up. Then we start getting into some much, much older stuff, old Copic work and things. But yeah, it was kind of a blast to go through it all. So I'm going to now get these all sleeved up and put little backers in each one, which is going to be quite a production, but it's got to get done. I'm not sure I'm going to have sleeves for the little ones right now. I have to go through and see. I don't use plastic sleeves anymore when I ship anything but I still have all the ones that I'd previously purchased because I didn't want to just like throw them out. And plastic sleeves are going to be obviously a necessity when displaying things because people need to see them. So <laughs> I'll get to use some of those up at least with this stuff, but we'll see if I have any this size.
got all of these sleeved up and ready and then this little stack here i don't have sleeves big enough for these are all too wide for the 8x10 sleeves i have so i have some on order and then those can get packed up too and now i have all of these originals i'll be able to bring to events which is exciting it's like i said it's honestly more than i thought i had so that's cool and the last thing I wanted to share with you today has nothing at all to do with art, but is instead the cutest little thing that my daughter has made for the backyard squirrels. She has made this little bakery for them and made little squirrel friendly cakes out of like nuts and peanut butter frosting, which is just straight peanut butter. And it is the cutest thing. I hope she never outgrows wanting to do stuff like this for the squirrels. Usually they're pretty shy about new structures, but this one went right in. So this is where I'll leave you today with some silly but adorable squirrel antics. Thank you so much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons over on Patreon. There is a link for my Patreon in the description if you want to check it out. Please do subscribe to the channel and I will catch you in the next video. Take care my friends. Be well. Until next time. Oh, you found me underneath, Judgers.